I'm really impressed by the extent to which uh, Gen Z is the catalytic force. We launched the Edelman Trust Barometer on brands, and we found that there's a huge interest in brands standing up on issues of the day, race, sustainability, and wage levels. Gen Z is so interested in social and political affairs, 70% of them are working on these issues. And so that has, again, an impact on the rest of the population. I think Gen Z has absolutely um, recognized that they shouldn't just protest, they should act. And Gen Z is doing this because they're actually battling for the generation. Two thirds of people are belief driven buyers. 85% of Gen Z based on whether a brand stands up on an issue or not. If a brand is smart, example, JP Morgan is putting $5,000 towards a person who's buying a house who's in the lower income category. That's really smart. That's a perfect example of action, not just talk. The important thing is to be a brand such as Dove, which has done the campaign for Real Beauty for 15 years. And the new campaign that they've gotten an award for in Cannes this year is the reverse selfie, that if influencers are actually body shaming, you should cross them off the list and actually fight back against this issue. But if you're current and stay on the issue, you're really smart. Brand trust is the entry point for the purchase funnel. Trust has become the interlocking point between brand and corporate reputation. Brands that put their heads down and expect all of this tumult to change are just wrong. Again, there's a four to one increase for people who buy brands because they stand up and speak up and act. And again, the cautious approach is the higher risk play.